Now the development of all the technology we have out there and you know, all the progress a lot of people is making, you still have some of these silly dudes doing something I just cannot stand. And I'm probably about to really piss a lot of you off in my positions today, but let's go ahead and review what this sister has to say. Like for the men that do this, what make y'all wear pants that stop under y'all ass cheeks? Yeah, let's have that conversation. And, and, and I'm glad a woman is, is bringing this out because how I feel about it now, everyone knows where that originally come from. That comes from prison. Everyone in prison say that any man is doing that is inviting himself, inviting other men to his bussy. That's what a lot of men in prison has to say about that. So since that's where that come from, that's prison culture. Why are you doing prison culture out here? Unless you bring in some of that out to the so-called real world, correct? But ladies, you should have put a stop to that long time ago. See, some of you be wondering why you find out that your man is end up laying down with another man or some trans woman somewhere. A lot of you just can't understand why that has happened to some of you. Some of you have said that a lot of these men are LGBT and some of them actually are in a lot of ways, but they closet it. If you see a guy walking around with his pants hanging underneath his butt. Okay. Let's think about that. What self-respecting man walks around like that? Give me one world leader that you see walking around like that. Any president, any prime minister, give me one major business man that's walking around like that. Any man with self-respect, is going to wear his pants the way pants are supposed to be worn first and foremost. Number two, any man is wearing his pants like that. That is a sign that he is broke and dusty. That is a telltale sign because any man that has a, co a company any kind of corporation, any man that has a payroll that he got to pay out, he's not going to walk around like that because he cannot walk into any kind of business meeting looking like that. He cannot. Because they're going to look at him and say, what the hell wrong with him? Why is he, why is he, they will say that would, first of all, it would be inappropriate. Very, very inappropriate. You have, you know, women sitting there as well. And you go walk in a business meeting like that. So you can't take that kind of guy seriously. And number three, any guy that's walking around his pants like that, ladies, he is a closeted member of the LGBTQ community. He's closeted. He needs to come out and join his community. He needs to come out and do that because there's no man that I know that there's, there's a, as a man that loves women, a man that want to actually uh, build a family is going to walk around like that every single day. No, he is a closeted member of the LGBT community. So when a lot of you talk about these men are that way, you know, the fact is you picking them. That should be a to total turn off for you as a woman. If you walking around and you, you say, hold on, this guy, hell no, this guy, this guy, something going on with him. That's prison culture. He's offering his bussy to somebody. Cause I, I don't, I'm not looking for it. Cause no woman have I ever met say, Ooh, I love to see a man walking around showing his boxes to everybody. No woman wants to see that. But yeah, some of you, some of you ladies go out here with some of these guys. Of course, women that got maturity would be turned off by that. Okay. They completely turned off by that. So this is more so about younger women. And unfortunately you got some women my age or older that still like that too. And also some of them got professional jobs in Houston and Atlanta. They'll date a guy that, that's walking around like that, but then they wonder when they wonder why that guy get caught up on 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 the, on the, on the down local. They they really LGBT. Any woman that date a guy that's walking around like that, instead of going to twenty twenty three, don't be surprised if you find out later that he he's up here uh, midnight creeping with with on, on the DL with a trans woman or another dude. Don't be surprised. And listen, any of you dudes that got a problem with what I said, come in the comment section and tell me why you got a problem with what I said. I love to talk to one of you actually on live about that. Why do you walk around with your pants uh, underneath your butt going into 2023 when all education has been out there, where that come from and what that actually mean from, from dudes that actually been in, in lock, locked down? Women, sometimes you got to set a standard too now 
Because, you know, a lot of times the guys talking about, yeah, we set the standards. Well, you got to set a standard. And you say, I want a man. And a man doesn't walk around with his pants underneath his butt. That's not what men do. Many men have said, I'd rather see women walk around their pants like that. And women don't even do it. And women show their butt these days more than any other time in history. So these guys are doing something that women not even doing. So why would you want a guy like that that's trying to sit up there and, 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 and show, show his butt more than you showing yours? Some of these guys, are they so sassy? Some of them, they more sassy than, than, than y'all are as women. Once again, are they so sassy? They showing they, they backside. You need to start thinking about that lady. You need to think about that. You need to get involved with a man, an alpha male. But sometimes, this is the other part, some of you don't really want a man like that. And that's the other part. Because you know you can't run over him. You can't control him. You can't use manipulation tactics on him. It doesn't work. Because a man has seen it just about all. Especially a man that got some experience. You know, you once you once you get to the, definitely you try to deal with brothers that, that got they, they, they money tight, everything right in their life, <laughs> It's not a whole lot you could tell them at that point. That's why sometimes you get with these, uh, you know, secretly closeted dudes. And then you want to complain on them later. But shout out to this sister here for calling this mess out. Going in 2023, you know, y'all better not be still doing that mess. Because like I said, you know, if I, when I see it in public, I, that's automatically what I think about y'all. I think y'all closeted the LGBT. I mean, like I said, come out with it. Put on a rainbow flag and it's a community for you. You don't have to be uh, ashamed. 